Hey my sweeties, it's the sweetest vegan here. Today on the show we'll be making vegan cookies for Santa Claus or Saint Nicholas like I like to refer to him because I'm really in love with the story of Saint Nicholas, how he gave the coins to the dad of the three girls. Look it up if you don't know it. And there's little Raven, my little precious princess back there. We'll see how long she stays in that high chair. Um before she demands to be held. Like I tell people, I didn't choose attachment parenting. Attachment parenting chose me. So we go with it. And um, this is too much information for a cookie video. Santa Claus might have went vegan this year. You don't know. He needs options from house to house. So we're going to make him some vegan cookies, although these are not diet cookies. Maybe he's dieted all year and just one night he wants a sugar-filled vegan cookie, but he doesn't want his stomach to get all messed up with milk and eggs and things like that. So we are going to make a vegan oatmeal cranberry walnut cookie for him today. That's right, baby. That's right, tell him. You ain't got nothing else to say? Yeah. yeah. Let's get started on this recipe. <laughs> We're going to pull out a big mixing bowl. We're going to add in two cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon baking soda, one teaspoon baking powder, and one teaspoon salt, which I have pre-measured out here. Also, we're going to add in one teaspoon of cinnamon and one teaspoon of nutmeg. Whisk that all together until it's well combined and you have no floury lumps. Now, I'm really excited because today I'm going to be using my KitchenAid mixer for our next step. To the mixer, you want to add in one cup of vegan butter, I prefer Earth Balance, along with one cup of vegan sugar. This is a organic, pure Florida crystals sugar. I found it at Walmart. It's vegan. You can find it at your Walmart probably, so it's widely available. So is Earth Balance. This is my first time using this KitchenAid mixer since I won it from Best Buy, uh, what was it, hinting season last year around this time. I will include that video from when I want it down in the description below. I got a Cuisinart, I got a Ninja Blender, and it was just an awesome experience, but I found out I was pregnant soon thereafter that filming and that surprise, and I haven't used it. I haven't did any hardcore baking, so cream that all together, and then we're going to add in our liquid ingredients. I'm going to add two teaspoons of tahini, which is ground sesame seeds, to a half cup of almond milk. This is an egg replacer, um, and I will go ahead and pay homage and attribution to L's New England kitchen.com it's a blog I got the recipe that I got inspired to make this from that blog she has a list of other egg replacers on that blog post along with your almond milk mixture you're going to add in two tablespoons of coconut milk my cream had risen to the top and it was very solid even at room temperature in the winter time it gets solid without having to freeze it or refrigerate it so I had a lot of fat you might want a lot of fat because that makes the cookies nice and rich and I added in one tablespoon vanilla extract and continue to mix now I'm going to take the time I got a last-minute inspiration to zest one orange and I just scraped that zest into the flour mixture and I am now going to mix half of the flour mixture into my wet batter <laughs> so just you laughing so continue to mix as you add the flour mixture and don't forget to scrape down your side so it's evenly mixed. And once you have half of your flour mixed in, mix in the other half. Somebody's getting cranky. Now I'm going to mix in two and a half cups of rolled oats, one and a half, one and a half cup dried cranberries, and two cups of chopped walnuts. I'm just going to take a spatula and fold all those things into my wet batter. Now I have a handy dandy cookie scooper here, which I am going to scoop uniform size cookies onto a cookie sheet that I line with parchment paper. She's interested in my mouth. I don't usually wear lipstick. She's happy about it though. But um, <laughs> I scare her with my laugh. Anyway, now you're going to bake those in an oven that has been preheated to 350 degrees for 18 minutes. They are done when they get brown around the edge and then you can transfer them to a... Now she's squeezing my boob. Can you tell she's breastfed? <laughs> 
You can tell they're done when they are brown around the edge, but they'll still be chewy in the middle. They can cool on the baking sheet for one to two minutes, but then you want to move them to a cooling rack. That's it. They taste delicious, and hopefully you like them. Hopefully your Santa Claus likes them, and hopefully your kids enjoy helping you make them. She's into the bowl right now. I think she enjoyed watching, but she's not quite old enough to help yet. See her little ball spot? It's, it's not as bad. I have to insert some pictures of her all dolled up so you all can see her outside of her little footed pajamas and her little messy hair. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I enjoy making videos for you guys and I hope you all enjoy seeing me too. Bye!